Well, at the end of the opening session of Mansion Bet World Pool Masters 25, we've seen this evening wins for Ralph Suke over Carol Skwersky, for Niels Fine against Raj Hondal, and just there, the defending champion David Alcade knocked out at the hands of Carl Boys. Ted Lerner is with me again. Ted, who impressed you the most tonight? Actually, it was uh, Niels Fine. I was uh, really impressed with him. Had a little shaky start, first two racks, but then he just uh, steamrolled Raj. I mean, Raj did not play well at all. Raj is a streak player. It's clear that Raj hasn't been playing a lot of pool lately. But that being said, Niels, I mean, he hit some really clever shots, and I think he looked relaxed. And I think what this layoff, you know, a lot of people might say, oh, he had like, you know, several months off because of the tennis elbow, and he was very frustrated. He couldn't find a fix for it. Then he finally found a physio. And then, but I think the layoff is going to prove to be beneficial to him. It's going to be a blessing in disguise because I know Neil's personality. You know, if you know Neil's Fine's personality, he is a guy who works all day long on his game. Neil's is not a natural talent. Everything Neil's has gotten in this sport he has earned through hard work and I've known his coaches you know Johan Reischink, Alex Laley have all said you know sometimes you got to tell Niels Niels take a break but he doesn't want to do that but now he was forced to take a break from the game and get away from it for a while and he came back he looked fresh to me he looked really good and another guy who looked good he got a late shout out to come into the tournament but Carl Boys he always rises to this occasion doesn't he yeah we talked about this before in the press room he reminds me of like this golfer, and uh, American golfer, Andy North. When I was growing up, he won two U.S. Open uh, golf championships. And, uh, but he never won anything else outside of that. I mean, Boy seems to be the kind of player, yeah, who comes to the big events and performs great and doesn't, I mean, he, he also wins other events, but he doesn't play that much pool these days. He did win a, a GB9 uh, event tour last week in England. Uh, so that bodes well for him. But yeah, he likes this kind of uh, atmosphere. So it's always fun to watch Carl play well. Well, you highlighted Niels Fan as one of the most outstanding performances of the evening. And earlier this evening, I spoke to Niels to get his reaction to his win. Yeah, it felt really good. I mean, the first couple of games, it's, it's logic. You know, I had to get going a little bit. I missed the easy shot. Just had to get used to the light, the atmosphere. But then uh, probably 15 minutes in the match, I really calmed down. I cracked a couple of good breaks and uh, ran some racks. And uh, in the end, my kicking game was pretty good tactics. So all, overall, it was like a nice, decent match, you know. And Raj, of course, was a little bit, uh, he had some ring dust, like he called it, because he hasn't been playing many tournaments. So uh, it, was, it was well enough. I was, I was happy, yeah. But you yourself haven't played too many tournaments recently. Where do you feel your game's at at the moment? I think it's pretty decent. Uh, I was hitting the ball really well at home. No pressure, of course, by myself. But I figured before I uh, came back after 10 weeks, you know, I picked up my cue after 10 weeks and I thought, oh, here we go. You know, you, you never know. Are you going to hit the ball? And it, my touch was kind of like, okay, this, this is pretty good. And uh, then you just know, okay, it's just a matter of a couple of days and uh, your game's pretty, pretty much back. So it's just a matter of match play, you know, just get mental toughness and uh, just compete, you know, and get that, uh, that, that experience back, uh, the seasoning, and then everything just clicks back together. Niels Fine there talking after his win over Raj Hundal. Let's take a look at tomorrow's fixtures then for the afternoon session. Alex Pagulayan up first against Alex Laley, Shane Van Boning versus Daryl Peach, and then the match they've all been talking about, Darren Appleton against Earl Strickland. Ted, that's one not to miss. That's going to be a cracker. That's going to be good because uh, Earl's fired up. He's in there talking. He's just jack jawing everybody in that practice room right now. And, uh, you know, Darren's sitting on the side just laughing, you know. And, uh, but Dar Darren is, he can handle this, you know. I mean, he's been here before with Earl. So, uh, but it's going to be fun. I mean, you got two greats of the game, two Hall of Famers going at it in a, in a you know, big match. Ted, once again, thank you very much. Don't hey, miss Nick, that thank match. you. Off the rail. We're back half one tomorrow local time. That's 12.30 UK, live on Sky Sports. Do join us for that.